So today I have an interesting route for you to make money in New World. So this time we're going to be mar farming gemstones, star metal, wire weave slash blister cloth and all that, and some pigments. It's going to be a very interesting route to run, and it's a very chill route. There's no annoying enemies. It's in a low level area, which is Weaver's Fen. It does cross over into a level 60 area though but a lot of the route is in the lower level area. Now before we move on to that though, I wanna make sure like I would do on every video that you know you're going to need for this set a full set of harvesting luck gear and a full set of mining luck gear, including the amulet if possible and on your tools if possible. Also for trade skill foods, you're going to want something a little different this time. Now I personally recommend budget foods. So cornbread and herb roasted potatoes, the ones that you can just craft yourself without a recipe. I would highly recommend these just to save money because on this route, we're going to be swapping foods at, in the route. There's a part we do all the mining and then we do a, a pop of cornbread to do the harvesting. And then we pop on the mining one for the rest of the mining and we just keep doing that. So every hour you're going to burn through, I think six trade foods total. It was either four or six, something like that. So uh, don't, don't use the 2001 unless you can get them super cheap. It's up to you. I mean, you can if you want. And it, honestly, it might actually make you more money that way. Maybe if you get it for, you know, a good enough price. And also put trophies in your house for harvesting luck and for mining luck if you want. It will also make you get more money per hour. Now for this route, I'll show you a crude map. But before I do, I'm just going to roughly talk about it. So we're going to be in Weaver's Fen and a little bit into Reekwater. Starting around here, we're going to grab wire fibers. And then we're going to follow through. Here's a bunch of gold. And we're going to mine the gold for gemstones. Get all the gold. Just go through here. We go through here. Go through here. Get some fibers, some pigment. There's also a pigment down here somewhere we grab. And then we grab star metal. We're going to grab star metal. And you're going to come up here and you're going to go along this bridge and grab a bunch of star metal. And then you're just going to walk back and start the wire fiber and do it all over again. But I'm going to go ahead and skip to a crude map of this to take a look at so you can see where everything's at. So here's a pretty crude map of all the things you're going to be going to. You're going to be starting right around here. So these are wire fiber. So you're going to put on your harvesting gear, pop your cornbread, and then you're going to grab this one. You're going to go from here to there to there to there. Then you're going to pop your mining food, put your mining gear on for the rest of the route. We're going to get gold, and all of this is gold for the most part. Here's a brown pigment we grab, and then gold, and then a turkey nest for eggs. And then more gold, and we go over here, gold, gold, and you come all the way around here, go here. It's kind of weird getting over here. You have to get along the rocks and try to get over to these two, the two big ones right here. Then you're going to backtrack out of there and come over here to get gold, and then gold. And then there's a path up through the mountains, and you can kind of follow along like that and come around to this. And then you're going to drop down onto this ledge to get this gold. Those are both gold. And then drop down here, grab this gold, and then this gold. And then this is shock bulb. And you're going to get a bunch of moats from that. And then you're going to get gold and then a brown pigment and then fibers. Then you're going to over here. This is star metal, star metal. And then you're going to go from here over to this. And there's star metal and star metal. And I think this is where uh, you find springstone and stuff. And then star metal, star metal, star metal. And if you see any springstones in there, just go ahead and grab them for more money. And then you come over here and you're going to cross over. And you're going to get star metal, star metal. And then you're going to just run all the way back through the swamp, back to the start. There's pretty much nothing to grab on the way. This is just a dead zone path. And uh, that's the route. If you do it right, it should take just long enough that everything respawns by the time you get back. I think it's like 25 minutes just per cycle. And the big gold veins and big star metal veins take about 25 minutes maximum to respawn. So if you do it just right, you'll be able to run this loop forever and everything will be respawned every single time that you run the loop. I'm going to show you a quick little sped up version of most of the route and then we're going to take a look at what we found and what it all is worth.
Okay, so I grinded that for one hour, and let's see what I got. So I got all these gems, which I don't know, might not even be worth that much, really. Uh, Azerite chunks, 1,318 star metal ore. I threw the gold ore away, so it's worthless. Uh, 2,023 wire fiber, which is worth a teeny bit on my server. Nine blister weave, six scale cloth, 262 fibers. Uh, I already had all, I didn't have this. The air motes I got from the run, I think the water motes I got from the run, along with shock ball leaf, shock ball stem, for instance, everything except for the Azoth water. I got 13 brown pigments, and I got these two eggs. So uh, let's go look at what some of this stuff's worth. So eggs is something funny. Eggs are worth a bunch, worth like 10 a piece. Pretty interesting. Uh, then we got some air motes and stuff, air motes. Water moats. Moats are worth a lot on my server because everyone on my, I think my server is ahead of other servers. We're, we're, everyone on my server is doing the end game stuff like insane nowadays. So all things that are used for end game stuff are through the roof. Now brown pigment, maybe I can sell for 25. I don't know. I mean, I bought it before at 50 because I wanted to check out some dye, but uh, let's look at, I know some people wire fiber is worthless, but my server is way ahead of other servers and people are using all the end game mats like left and right nowadays. So Wire fiber is sellable for a little bit. Uh, star metal ore is on the on the up and up, like crazy because they nerfed star metal. They nerfed all ore drops actually when they fixed big ones giving less and little ones giving more. So star metal's up a lot, and no one wants to go get it anymore either. Uh, Azerite chunk is actually garbage here. Yep, two, and then blister weave scale cloth. Blister Weave. As always, these are the most expensive of all the rare materials, basically. Except maybe Tolvium and Cinnabar sometimes. And then as for all these, uh, the only ones even worth thinking about probably would be these 10 normal diamonds. All the rest are going to be uh, like anything else. What were some of the others? Like Amethyst and Carnelian. Like, if we just look up Carnelian. Uh, I guess like 10. So I'm gonna add all these ones up. I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch me go through all those. So I'm gonna put all this on a text editor. We're gonna see what we made in an hour at this route. So the brilliant gems were actually pretty worthless. I didn't get any good ones, sadly. You can get lucky and get better stuff than I got. The gems were decent. I got 500, well, I would get 500 for the gems. Star metal ore is worth a lot right now on my server. And if it's not on yours, I suspect it will go up soon. My server seems to be ahead of other, ahead of other servers. And all my prices seem to be like what I think is going to happen on a lot of other servers who are not going up yet. Azerite chunk, uh, a little bit. Wire fiber, just a little bit. Uh, blister weave scale cloths, where it's at. It's going to depend on the price of those for sure. And then we got a little bit of fiber, a little bit of arcana, the brown pigment potentially, and the eggs. So uh, all in all, this is going to bring the total for this route to... 3,741 per hour. Now this is gonna vary depending on uh, prices, depending on your server. So depending on your server, uh, you'll hopefully make somewhere between 1,500 and 5,000 per hour. It just depends on the prices slash price of your server. And uh, remember this can change because like on my star metal ore has only been trending up for the last week. It's point 0.1, then point 0.2, then point 0.3, then point 0.4, and now it's at point 0.5, point 0.6. So uh, you know, other things like that can happen. So it's just another route to add to your arsenal. So when you see prices change, if you ever see Oh crap, star metal is at 0.8. Now you know a good route for star metal. You know, if you see blister weave scale cloth at 150 somehow, then, you know, another route that you can get those things at. So it's just another route to add to your arsenal. It's a pretty good route. It's not the best route in the game, in my opinion, but uh, it's definitely a good route. I, I would rate it like a, like a B plus or an A. So it's a pretty fun route to run to. A pretty chill route. Not really dangerous at all. It's pretty much zero danger in this route whatsoever. It's just completely chill. But there you have it. Another route, and an interesting route, because you're going to be farming gemstones and star metal. It's going to be a little different than most of the other routes, so it just adds some variance here. But now you know another good route for making money in New World.